Oh, good morning, real estate fans. Alice Lima here, broker John L. Scott in beautiful Southern Oregon with another edition of the weekly podcast. Today, we're going to talk about if there's a crash coming or not. I know a lot of a lot of opinions out there, but I just got an update from National Association's realtor, Dr. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist, and he had some interesting points to make about uh, not only 2023, but beyond, because here we are to prediction time, right? End of the year. So uh, it's going to be a great podcast. Uh, before we jump into that, I want to give you a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us a like, send us some comments, uh, send us some questions. We're here for you. If you want to speak to me privately, personally, you can reach out uh, 541-301-7980. Happy to help you with your real estate needs. Okay. So is there a crash coming? Yes or no? So today I got to listen to Dr. Lawrence Yoon, who's the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors. And he had a very interesting presentation talking about, is there a crash coming in home prices? And uh, let me just tell you the spoiler, (laughs) he does not think so. And here's why. We're going to look at this chart right here. Uh, posted by the National Association of Realtors, key variables in deciding if there is an economic uh, crash coming in the home sector. First is job cuts, payroll jobs, total jobs, subprime loan, five-year cumulative to the new home construction before the crash, inventory on the market, mortgage delinquency, and homes in foreclosure. This is a super succinct list of things to check if you're trying to decide on timing. Now, again, I always say timing the market is not a good idea. Even professionals have trouble doing it. And it's not not really what the overall real estate goal is. The goal is to get the assets in your name and start accumulating rent or the home that you love, that you get to live in, or whatever your financial and lifestyle goal was, it's you don't get to start enjoying that until you have the asset in your name. So my personal opinion is that when you have a a real estate project that you find what you can afford that meets your needs and you buy it and you don't look back. Okay. That's kind of my personal philosophy for when I buy things. Um, But if you are looking forward and trying to, I mean, everybody wants a good deal. I get it. But if you're looking forward, then you want to have data that's accurate. And right now you can see in this, uh, in this graph from the National Association of Realtors that we just don't have the economic elements that would lead us to believe that there was a significant downturn coming. In fact, on the next graph, I want to show you uh, also from the National Association of Realtors, they have a, a trend from 1970 home prices projecting out to 2050. And very bold, I think, to go out that far. But I guess if you're the National Association of Realtors, you can do that. Um, I would never do that. But uh, look at these numbers. In 1970, the average price was $23,000 for a home in the United States. In 2020, the average U.S. price was $300. Ours is higher because, well, we have our own little mini economy here or lack of economy, depending on the year. But uh, then you start looking out into 2030, 2040, and 2050, and we see we see significant increases in equity in home prices. So, um, and that's the, on the national scale. In Southern Oregon, we have a, a higher desirability, a higher lifestyle um, attractiveness. And since the COVID and remote workers, we've been discovered uh, even more so than before. So my prediction for uh, Southern Oregon is that we will keep pace with inflation, maybe do a little bit better. um, And we'll see, we'll check this next year and the year after. But if you're planning on getting a really good deal because of a market event, the 2023 may not be it. This might be the best it's going to be. We've got prices down, but equity is still up. So, you know, we went way up uh, because of 
the inflation and COVID, and then we settled down, but we're still above where we were last year. And it's very interesting because we track it every week that Jackson County, Josephine County, and Klamath counties are up. We'll see how we end 2022, but right now we're anywhere from 5% up to uh, 10%, maybe 11, depending on how Klamath and Josephine County settle uh, by December 31st. So very interesting time. A lot of different opinions out there. Get the most information that you can when you're making your real estate decisions. But remember, keep your eye on the life goal, which is to get an asset in your name. Okay. Okay. That's our podcast for today. Uh, if you've got any questions, reach out to me. I'm available by phone, by text, by email, 541-301-7980. You can also check out all of our listings on uh, my website. I have a fabulous website, very robust, lots and lots of great information. In addition to just listings, we've got community information, uh, different sales, um, uh, statistics, uh, lots and lots there to help you. And the website is alicelima.com, A-L-I-C-E-L-E-M-A. -E and as always, give me a jingle, give me a text. If there's something that you want to talk about in your real estate life, we're here to help you make the best decision possible. Okay. All right. Have a beautiful week. Hug those you love. We'll see you next time. Bye now.